Hello everyone, welcome back to my Python UI application series. In this video we will be continuing from previous one when we created this SQLite helper. So you will need this if you will want to watch and go on with this video. I have uh, this code on my GitHub, so look at description of previous video. So uh, let's start with creating new design but before we do that i'll just tell you what we are gonna do so we'll be um, creating list of users we also we already created database in previous tutorial of users which um, which you can view with this database um, <coughs> browser which i showed you in previous video as well and you open database like that and you can browse data from table users and as you can see we have ID, name, year and admin as, as exactly as it shows here in grid like that we will be creating that in our own application so we will be viewing our data in this video and probably in next one we will be inserting it and then deleting and editing it probably this will be separated in different videos so they won't be too long so let's start with um, creating new database for this uh, for this video. So I already have this statement from previous one. I just have to uncomment my object and cr create table method call. So save that and F5 for run. And now we can check our database if it was successfully created go open database in folder that you saved your database and as you can see we have table users with id name year and admin we also have this sqlite sequence which is used for auto increment of id which i explained you in previous video okay so now we can start with creating our design Let's create new main window. I'll just make that full screen. You can remove this menu bar. And all you will need is a table widget, which is right here. Dragging, drag it into your window. And you don't need that, but you can add a push button and name it load data uh, you also have to if you want to uh, rename your object name i will just leave it as this push button and also we have a table widget you just have to look it into it how it's named okay so let's save this design in the same folder as we create as we will be creating our main script let's Name it just test.ui. Okay. And put that aside for now. And now we will need another script, which I will save as main.py. Make sure that it's in the same directory as previous SQLite helper and your uh, design, of course. Now you will need to import your SQLite helper. Here you need to be um, careful because when you import your SQLite helper, all of the code will be executed. So if you have like test.create table right here, this will be executed as well. So make sure that you comment that out, okay? Like this, so don't forget to save it. Now you can go here and type import the name of your file sqlite helper and then okay you need to write it like that from sqlite helper import and you can do all this will import all classes in this file but since, since we have only one we could also type like this but in but if we uh, type star, 
it will also include all other, all other classes if we will be implementing them in the future so let's leave it like that okay we also have to import all, all of PyQt5 stuff which even I don't know right out of my mind so I'll just go to our first tutorial and copy you can skip that part if you want okay we need this probably uh, we will be using some more of imports in future but I'm not sure if we will be needing those in this video already okay we also need app.execute and vlg.show okay I hope I didn't uh, make that complicated too much so now we have our main which with all imports from PyQt and import from our SQLite helper so first we will be creating a um, listener dlg dot um, of our button so we have push button dot dot click dot connect to our method let's say load data and create that method right here Oops. like that and here we will create um, our object of helper which is equal to SQLite helper like this and here we have to pass the name of our database with, which we created which is test.db okay and then we want to get data or select data so helper dot select I'm reading it from here as you can see and we also selected it before so we need to select all from users let me just close this so write SQL statement select all from users Later on, we will probably add some filters uh, like uh, or order by, and you will also need to change right here a where clause and order by, or maybe even a limit. So, but leave that for now. Okay, now we have this select, and we have to save that as users. Okay, now we will just print our users so we can see what we've done so far let's run that oh it opened in my other oops sorry for that okay okay um, so now if I load data we can see we have empty database of course because we just created a table and didn't insert anything so first we have to insert some uh, some records into it so we have to go back to SQLite helper we will, I will just close that for now and uncomment our object and our insert like this save it and run it okay now if i comment my uh, insert out and uncomment my select statement you can see we have uh, me in the database um, but just for fun let's add some more uh, inserts let's say John and we can save that and F5 for run. Oh, I haven't uncommented, but as well, I can change that and add another person F5. 
files and also get my insert in database okay but before we go back to main uh, script we have to uncomment those this is very important or you will have um, unwanted uh, records in your database okay so save that and go back to uh, main function save it again and f5 for run and if I press load data as you can see our users are printed out as we accept expected okay so <clears throat> now I can close this and now we will try to import those users into our table widget so uh, we will be inserting our uh, we will be inserting rows and columns but there is one very important thing that uh, it needs to be done before that in our uh, Qt designer probably it's there a better way but I haven't found it yet I just go in our uh, designer in our table widgets right click edit items and add um, columns which we have created from for our um, table so we have ID uh, we also have name, we have year, I think, and we have admin, like this, okay? And as you can see, those columns are successfully added. Uh, make sure that you save the design. By the way, you can also change some properties right here for table widgets. You can actually uh, make it really cool looking in the end, but I won't be messing around with that for now okay uh, we've done that so now we can insert our data into our table widget so uh, obviously we will need two for loops one for uh, columns and one for rows so each row will be it probably is better if I show you right here each row will be uh, a tuple of uh, of properties of one user and each column will be a specific property of user, right? So let's go into our low data method and write first for loop, which will have row count, since we need that in while inserting our rows, and user in enumerate. And here users we have to enumerate users so we will get this row count variable and we'll be, we will be able to tell Py55 in which row we want to add user and, and the same principle will be will work for um, column count and columns so uh, DLG dot how it's called um, just a second table widget Table, we, table widget dot insert row and here it comes this row count or well, let's rename it row number makes much more sense okay since we have this we should probably run it and test it and when I click on load data I should have uh, as many rows as I have inputs in database so in this case I'll have three rows and yes it works but we haven't we haven't uh, insert any columns yet so this is next thing we need to do and create another for loop for columns so column number and let's name it data or anything you want in enumerate i have to copy this word because i can barely spell it out and here i will enumerate um uh, 
I will enumerate, enumerate the user, which is this one right here, not this one. This is users, which are uh, all those. And user, in our case, is just this tuple, as I mentioned before. So we are enumerating user, and from that user, we will get our data, which it has. So let's write cell is equal to um, Qt widgets dot Q uh, table widget item and here we will converting to string our data okay so in this form we are uh, going through data of specific user and then uh, saving into variable cell our data which is uh, an object of Q, Q table widget item and now we have to uh, dlg dot table widget dot uh, set item so we are setting item in specific cell in our table widget and we are setting it in row uh, row number and column number and we are setting it to cell so let's save it and fingers crossed that it is gonna work five for run and low data and it works yeah our all our uh, in records from database are successfully shown in our table widgets so this is it for this video in next one we will probably be inserting this data from this uh, uh, our this application i hope you liked it and i'll see you in another one